Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are returning and today I'm going to be talking about an upcoming game that actually just launched its Kickstarter and is really not getting any attention at all. So I definitely want to make a video because this definitely looks like something that I would be super interested in playing. And uh, since it's a survival game and you guys here love survival, I thought, you know, you'd like to hear about it too. So this game that I'm talking about is called New Dawn and this setting is dreadful pirates have landed on an unknown island of South America at the end of 1800, occupying it immorally and brutally and what happens is you actually play as a native of that island and what you have to do is you can like you work on defending tools new building techniques weapon tools all that stuff to survive it's a survival based sandbox open world multiplayer game set on an island in the pirate age and the player like i said you're a native and you literally get to build villages and use natural resources to survive and learn how to defend yourself from the frequent attacks of pirates who landed on the island i think the pirates are going to be ai and kind of the interesting thing with this right is that the AI is like a slave system. It's, I'll, we'll get to that a little bit later, but uh, to kind of talk about it, they actually have done a lot of research to try to kind of nail down the whole like pirate culture, the native culture. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean may or may not have been a good, good uh, reference point for that, but they have done a bunch of stuff there, and they don't want to just make the usual FPS survival and massacre. They want it to actually be a little bit more focused on survival, so they want hunger, thirst, the climate, wildlife, all that stuff to actually be potentially a threat to you. So, like I said, the pirates are controlled by advanced AI. They go around attacking villagers, and what they want to do, their ultimate motive, like a real pirate of the time, they want to loot. So the pirate is a non-playable character. You're not going to be able to play it unless maybe they change that down the line somewhere. And uh, an interesting thing with the pirates and their AI, right, is that depending on what that specific pirate sees in his lifetime, that will kind of grant him experience, and it will help him overcome the increasing difficulties. So the same type of fight move on him might not work that like might not work every time like he'll learn and he'll be like oh oh i see what is happening and then he'll you know find a way around it so that's actually pretty cool there another cool thing that you actually see in this trailer i got some gameplay here this is a combination of the kickstarter video and of a gameplay video they posted a couple weeks back and another thing you can actually do as you'll see is climbing a tree which is going to be useful for spotting enemies from far away it's actually interesting i don't think i've ever seen a game that actually lets you uh climb a tree and then savvy is a system to capture a pirate and make him your slave so what you have to do is after you capture him you can put him in a cage or something he can take care of his needs so that he obeys your command a slave will require attention and it's going to be necessary to equip him with weapons ammunition clothing and food to keep him alive but if you keep the slave satisfied he will actually be able to defend your village because there's going to be a village and whatnot he will be able to defend it while you're away and then as a villager you can form alliances with other villages which is going to be other players if you're allied you can actually trade with those other players the, like trade is going to be based on alliances i'm pretty sure you could be at war with other tribes that type of stuff there's going to be villages and camps of wealthy pirates full of recipes and weapons diplomacy between clans is going to be pretty important to create alliances and barter items using the totem the totem is something that the village leader puts down and denotes him as is the leader and it's kind of like the uh, cabinet from rust in that it let it gives you like your land claim like this this is my land and there's gonna be book building which will help you build sophisticated structures necessary for survival the game's gonna be played in first person and third person so it is gonna be toggleable I'm pretty sure and it will almost always move from one state to another except when it is being used to select weapons where you will operate in first person there's also gonna be woman characters and NPCs so it's not just going to be guys the map size 49 square kilometers pretty freaking huge if you ask me so the island's gonna be big there's gonna be lakes within i think there's gonna be rivers waterfalls you're gonna be able to go like to the coast and then there's actually gonna be i think there's gonna be like pirate settlements potentially like areas where the pirates have built their their encampments and they'll go out and attempt to raid you and whatnot you can make clothes to protect yourself from adverse climate conditions and there's gonna be a sleeper system so once you leave the survey your body will literally just sleep kind of like rust there you can make many tools to collect resources faster and you will have to build a workbench to create complex items and learn the recipes another thing that a lot of survival games have and this will follow suit and you're gonna have to have a furnace which is gonna be an open fire oven which you're gonna need to melt your minerals and weapons so initially 
in the game are going to be able to make many primitive weapons that you would associate with native people. But the more you go on, you will get instructions to obtain more and more advanced weapons such as flintlocks, muskets, springfields, molotovs, bombs, gunpowder, bullets. I don't know, this isn't listed or anything anywhere, but like cannons. That'd be freaking cool. I'd love cannons. I'm just saying, new Don people, if you're watching this game, please put in cannons. But you're going to be able to barter, barter with other tribes for resources. And there are going to be vehicles as well. So you can find the remains of wagons left behind by pirates. All you got to do is look for parts and instructions to repair them. And then once they are repaired, that cart is going to be useful for carrying, I believe, four people. And along with that, you're going to have some inventory room in there. So very useful for kind of transferring stuff, going out, collecting resources and whatnot. Uh, mounts, you can actually catch a wild horse and domesticate it. So kind of like taming from Ark. So it's got a lot of elements that a lot of cool survival games have. And it's kind of combining them to really make this one pretty cool one set in like the 1800s. So it's not going to have a heavy focus on guns like a lot of survival games. This one is going to be a pretty good focus on melee they do want i believe the melee system to be a bit more skilled so it is going to be not just swing 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 but you're going to be able to put some thought behind your movements that is a thing i think i saw mentioned in a prior video not in the kickstarter video i will also be leaving a link in the description to check out the kickstarter if you guys want support and whatnot it's really not getting any attention at all so if you guys could spread this video potentially or spread the kickstarter i'm not being paid or anything to say this i wish i was i like money what can i say but so uh, this is legitimately, you know, as someone who loves survival games and really just wants to see as many of them come out and have them be as awesome as possible, uh, I would just love to see this game hopefully get the funding it needs. And I think if it gets enough funding, it's pretty big stretch goal, but they'll also come to Xbox One and PlayStation 4. And I like playing games on console because I can be lazy and sit on my couch. So I'm kind of a fan of that. But back to buildings, you're going to be able to build a TP that will protect you from cold and rain. You can put it in any place. And your expedition you can also build a pit house a hogan a waddle house or even a village and then the village is going to be kind of where you base all of your building around that's where you're going to be able to have your tribesmen like your friends potentially and all that's going to be based around the totem like i mentioned earlier you claim the land and create your tribe with the totem the person who builds the totem becomes the tribe leader inspecting a totem will reveal the tribe name its leaders alliances tribe members players and npcs killed by the tribe all members of the tribe will be able to trade with allied tribes using the totem so this thing's going to be central to the whole tribal system and it's really going to be important it's going to give you a ton of info on the tribe so if you see this just know that there's a tribe nearby tribe chief which is going to be recognizable because he'll have pretty unique attire compared to everybody else the slavery system like i mentioned and you will be able to equip your slave to guard your base uh how you can actually enslave people i believe is you're going to be able to create some holes and that will be able you'll be able to use that as a trap to kind of uh kind of lure in so that's one example that they put out on their page but i'm guessing there's going to be different ways but like Pretty much you're just going to want to trap them initially and then you have to torture slash love them to, you know, give them that Stockholm Syndrome and make them love you. There's going to be mineral resources to create tools and weapons. So far I know they have clay, copper, gold, iron, lava, interestingly enough, and stone. Nearby islands you can swim to or even build yourself a raft to go back and forth. Herbology, where you can find grass that can cure, poison, or drug a people and animals. Potentially the drugging of people could come into, like, uh, the slavery system, PvP, you can make alliances among tribes, and there's the plantation, seeds can be sown to grow food, so there's going to be a farming system, cattle paddocks, you can build paddocks for domestic animals, I probably butchered that, I'm sorry, hunting, the island is infested with furious and agile animals, you will kill them only if it is an absolute necessity, and there's going to be stuff like bison, uh, leopards, or tigers, I think it's tigers, yeah, I think tigers, moose and they're gonna have a variety of stuff you're gonna be able to fish using spears or traps traps which you can use to catch animals wrecks which are going to be like shipwrecks that type of stuff that's where a lot of loot is going to be based for alliances tribal chiefs have to meet and greet each other in order to create an alliance npcs where fighting the pirates will be a hard challenge they will locate they will attack and you need to kill or be killed like i mentioned tree climbing the pirates villages which i kind of talked about a bit earlier they will have villages that potentially you can go to and launch an attack on i imagine it's gonna be hard though because pirates will probably be equipped with guns and uh kind of like their 
pirate swords rapiers rapiers i don't know how to pronounce that exactly there's gonna be the night day cycle dynamic weather terrains variety of trains like forests jungles beaches caves valleys and you get to decide where you want your tribe to live and overall it is just gonna be it's gonna be awesome i don't know I, i'm i'm excited for it hopefully it doesn't disappoint i am actually genuinely excited for this game uh because just i love getting excited about survival games because there's you know there's always the potential that the next one that comes out could be absolutely amazing i don't know but anyways that's gonna go ahead and do it for me i am going to let the gameplay wind out to but before i do that let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of this game like i said kickstarter link will be in the description if you guys want to check it out give it a look and like i said try to spread the word on this i don't normally say that but this game really does not have a lot of notoriety and i think what it's trying to do it could be pretty freaking good it could be you know i can't say it will be i can't see into the future i wish i could but, uh, yeah, that is about going to do it. But thank you guys the whole time for watching. I do appreciate it. Like I said, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And let me know if you want to see more preview videos like this as well. Because I don't usually do them. I do them every once in a while. But there's a couple more survival games coming out this month that I would definitely not mind showcasing on some of this preview type stuff. Because I love survival games here. I'm guessing you guys do too. Since you absolutely love when I play like Ark, Escape from Tarkov, that type of stuff. That involves loot. And, uh... Yeah, but other than that, that is going to go ahead and do it for me. Hit that like button if you guys like the video. Let me know. Make sure you are subscribed for more videos like this and also for new Dawn gameplay whenever it comes out. I think it's coming out third quarter 2017, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, that's going to do it for me. Have yourselves a fan-freaking-tastic day, and I will talk to you in the next one.